struggle to keep your hands to yourself? Do you feel you have rights over people due to your power and wealth? Do you find yourself unwittingly getting into trouble and the cause of the problem leaves you befuddled? You are not alone. But now, thanks to a brand new medical breakthrough, we have the solution for you. Doctor, doctor, I can't stop groping women. <laughs> oh, Mr. Celebrity, it's not your fault. You're clearly ill. So I shall prescribe you some gropidin. <laughs> I think we'll go straight for the higher dose. We can go up to two mil at most, but if you take it twice a day, it should help keep those pesky urges at bay. Doctor, doctor, the gropidin wasn't enough. I was with a female associate and uh, my clothes fell off. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, Mr. Celebrity, ignore that drama queen. It's not you, it's a malfunction in your genes. So, I shall modify the medical protocol and prescribe you some Gropidol. It comes in a convenient spray, so you can use it any time of the day. Spray it once on your face and twice on your sack. It'll make everything shrink and contract, so no chance of committing a lewd act. Doctor, doctor, I got in the buff and told that actress to touch my shrunken stuff. <laughs> oh no. I see you're one of those poor, unfortunate men. I therefore recommend that you always carry around a gropey pen. <laughs> if you ever feel tempted, even just a little bit, whip out the pen, engage the tip, and stab it into your bum. And in the time it takes to count from three to one, you'll be rendered catatonic, saving you from any histrionics. And if all of that fails and there's a chance you might end up in jail, we'll just check you into one of our clinics. You'll see they're great, terrific. Gropidin, Gropidol, and the Gropy Pen are trademarks of Dirty Old Men Incorporated. <laughs> Side effects to be noted may include a refusal to take any responsibility or admission of culpability, an increase in self-centeredness, amachismo, and an overinflated ego, an inability to see that a sense of entitlement is the only reason for the patient's predicament. Some users have reported impaired judgment, an addiction to out-of-court settlements, and a sense of perpetual denial which may result in coma, death, or even worse, a public trial. <laughs> if you experience any of these effects, cease use and talk to your physician. Of course, just as long as she isn't a woman. <laughs>